So what we're going to do here is I'm going to first use the glass beads and I'm going to fill it just about, the glass beads are going to go up here, like here's the kneecap where it starts, we're just going to go like an inch below it. This is going to go all the way inside and I'm going to work it down up and near the toes here. That's going to give some bone structure all the way into the foot because what happens is if your armature just went straight in and it just went to the heel, the way they're making dolls now, they're so soft and squishy. You see that? So when the doll is standing and the armature is just hitting the, the bottom of the heel here, and what happens is the, the weight of the doll, do you see how that's just bending? It's squishy. The way they made dolls in the past that were vinyl, they weren't made of soft vinyl. So the same armatures were sold. This white armature was sold and you never had to worry about it going into the foot because the foot, the whole vinyl was stiff and hard. It was soft to the touch, but not squishy, not squishy at all. That's why if you want your doll to have more support, you need to make the bone of the armature, I'm calling it a bone, go all the way down as, a, as if it's bones for the feet. Does that make sense? And then the next thing I'm doing is not only does this go all the way to the foot, but it's going to come out and guess what? It's going to be into the arm, like so. So it's going to go all the way up, if you can see that, I'm trying to get that in the camera there. So imagine that it goes all the way from, all the way down to the toes into the elbow. Computer or camera stop for a minute. So anyway, um, we're going to take this out and I don't need that in there when I go to fill again up to here. And if you're going to use a different type of filler, it's up to you uh, how full you want to go. I just want to pack it with um, some uh, polyfill down in there to prevent the my filler from moving its way to the top because the top with the... Um, armature coming out of it, there's no way for me to really secure that off and so it's just going to get packed really tight with polyfill so my glass beads stay at the bottom. So here we're going to begin. I'm going to move this out of the way. This is my glass beads. I have a big container and I transfer it into this smaller one. I have a little funnel, I have a measuring cup, and you can pre-measure. Uh, I'm just going to eyeball it here and then I'll probably weigh the two legs separately at the end to see if they're similar in weight. You can kind of see a, a shadow. It's only about here. My glass beads, I don't know if you can see that, pure, clean, they're tiny, they're little round, not sharp beads, very tiny. Okay, looking at where it's at, I'm going to put my finger to how full it is. It's exactly right under the knee. I want to, I don't want it that high. Pour some out. I have a scale right down below my feet here that I'm going to set it on and 
because I want um, both legs to be equal. a little bit more. That's about equal. It's got some good weight in there. Okay. I'm going to measure that on my scale. There, one is one pound and one is just a tad under one pound. I'm going to weigh it again here. Okay. Those are both one pound each. I'm going to set those aside. I'm going to lay it on its side here. It's not full, so it's not going to pour out. Okay, for the hands, the weight, the glass beads is going to go down into the lower forearm. And, um, I don't go too full because I'm going to put polyfill and I don't want a lot of weight in the arms. There's enough weight from the armature and I just figured less chance of it falling over with so much weight in the arms. But we need enough weight for balance but not, not uh, a lot. I'm going to see how much this weighs. I have a digital scale that gives me a better reading. I'll probably go to that scale but or you can eyeball it but it's kind of like funny about being equal or balanced of weight on both sides of the arm so that looks like it's right about here I'm gonna be back I'm going to weigh this on my digital scale I weighed made sure that I've got glass beads up to about here like like just about an half inch or an inch below the knee cap. You can do however you want with whatever filler that you're that you like to use and I want to say that I want to apologize. I I don't have my videos open to comments, but I was just thinking that my very first tutorials, I didn't do any editing. I just kind of was rambling on how I was putting things together and I might have come across like I'm telling you, this is the only way you should be doing it. Um, I hope I never said that because everybody has got their own way of what they like to use as fillers. I was just coming across sharing what I've always used and what I like to see in my own dolls. So, so anyway, um, my tutorial is not in any way to tell you this is the only way it needs it should be done. Moving along here. We are going to take one of these, and this is the part that I glued earlier. It's already dry. And where did I do this the other day? My days are running together. So this is the part that's going to go down into the foot like that. It'll look like that. It's going to go inside the foot. And I've already got the filler in there, but that's okay. And you can straighten it out because it's easier. And you're going to work it down in there. And then you can kind of feel it as you keep pushing it down. Keep pushing it in there. And then you want to turn it this way a little bit. Shake some of that. Um, filler. It's not pouring out, but see how it's almost to the lip here? That's giving me room to work that down into the foot without all that glass beads down there. I can start to feel it go down in there. And if this starts to get kind of curly, 
you just take your your leg and kind of massage it until you can feel that straight straightened out okay so that's straightening out I'm gonna so much easier to do things when you're not trying to put it in front of a camera so Anyway, I'm going to work that all the way down into the foot where I can actually feel it right here. And I'm going to do both of them. And to speed things up, I'm going to come right back. So if this is going up from and following up and going out the arms, we need some strength in the spine. And we want that to shoot down into our heels. So we're going to have extra support. Now, I guess if you didn't want to use the thicker one you could just use this size and double it up um, I don't think it'll make too much of a difference it's just that when it comes to this part coming out of the head um, one will be actually left higher and one will stop right at the neck opening and the rest will shoot up and go inside the head and then you'll be able to turn the head and make the head look like it's looking up you can still rotate the head, but you'll be able you'll have more control. Instead of the head being too heavy and flopping forward, if the stuffing in the body gets um, I don't know, over over time from dressing and everything, that around the neckline that stuffing gets loose and then the head is gonna start to drop forward. And the regular um, armatures don't come with a neck piece you would have to add a neck piece on they don't even think about the neck piece because again this was they were designed back in the days when dolls were a harder vinyl not not squishy and soft so you this will help so this is easier to put in the part that has been sealed is going to go all the way in down to the ankle and again, I need to tilt this to let that um, the uh, filler, which is for me, I'm using the fine glass beads. I'm going to like make that go this way a little bit so I can work this way down, work this in there. And you can, if you wanted to, have everything in there and then take your funnel. And pour everything in there. You can do it that way. It's just that my very first doll, I did that way, and I felt like I felt like because there there was so much going on with this piece right here in the heel and the other piece blocking it too that there were that I couldn't get the glass beads really full into the foot area. So if you wanted to just put you know a small amount in here in the foot area and then fill it to the knee area afterwards, you can do that. It's not in a right and a wrong way to this. The only thing is, is you do want to get, and I'm going to have to do this on my lap. I'm going to work it in there. You know, some things I can do away from me on a table and have it in camera, and some things I just need to do holding it on my lap. So I apologize. I'm going to put it close in this area so you can see. So it's not on my lap. You're probably like, I want to see what she's doing. Now I can feel it right here. I can feel, I can feel this part right about here. So I'm going to rotate that around until I get it down. And then I'm going to also move this one around. Until I get it to exactly where I want it. It doesn't matter if this skinny one is in the front or the back. We're going to add a lot more filler. You won't feel any of them. Okay, so now we've got two coming out of there. See that? I'm going to be stuffing filler in there, this polyfill. Again, I want to make sure I feel that totally down in this ankle. I'm going to wait so that I can 
test to make sure both of them are equal in height coming out and then I know I got them both down. Yikes. Right there. Okay, so the next one. The part that's sealed goes in so that no filler goes through the joints of this thing. Down into the foot. I shake some of that. Oh, that one went straight exactly where I wanted it really fast. I don't know why the first one didn't do that. Okay, so when you turn it like this and you give it a tap, you can get some of the glass beads to lay flat, and then you can slide this right in place. So it's like you can actually almost see right here. It's got a nice ankle bone. Okay, now I'm going to hold the two up and see if they're pretty much equal in, in height. Then I know that they equally got down where they needed to be. And I'm going to tilt that up so you can see. See that? Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'll lean that there. I'm not putting the arms on yet. I'm going to stuff this full of filler. So we just first do a little bit in there at a time because you're going to work that down. And the whole idea is to get that really packed in to block whatever you've got down in there for weight. So if it's polyplastic pellets, you don't want that coming up here. You want that. You want everything staying down low, the weight and the glass beads. I don't want them getting up into the body area. It's the same as my tutorial that I did, but I wasn't able. To, I didn't show you the filling of the glass beads or the polyfill. I just talked about it. So when you're stuffing a, a doll without the armature, it's the same thing. You want to you want to pack that polyfill on top of it, keep it down low, and even if you capped off the top of your limbs, um, so, and it's optional if you do, and you can't do it with armatures coming out, of course, but I'm just talking about when you're doing a regular doll without an armature, you would do the same thing as stuff it. I'm getting that way down in there. You can see that when I push that down into the heel cap side. So there we go. It's feeling good. And you know, just when you have an armature, if you tried real hard, you could feel the armature, but if you squeeze real hard on your body or a baby, you're gonna feel their bones. So just think of these. It's a lifelike baby with bones. And if you squeeze, you're going to feel the bone. Keep filling until, and then I'll come back and it'll be full here. And I'm going to do the other one off camera. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. They are completely stuffed with polyfill all the way up in here. And when you're doing that, it's almost best to be um, standing up and you know and seeing what you're doing or putting it sitting in a chair and having this down on the floor where you're looking down and it's harder it's harder for me to see what I was doing and feeling it all at the same time in front of the camera with it an arm's length away from me and then um, as you're when you're getting closer to the top focus on making this feel really firm because the this little cable tie is going to go around there and if this is not squishy and it's nice and firm um, you're not going to lose a leg but the nice thing is is all this plastic that's in here is keeping making this strong and it's not going to flex in hardly at all but if you put all that filler in there really tight up here that's also giving it something to really grab onto, that cable tie. 